Hello, my name is Presi Mbas, Teacher 3 of Vicente and Daya Senior National High School. I'm so blessed to become part of this third PPT International Multidisciplinary Research Conference. I'm going to present to you my research study on the effect of movie subtitle on the viewing comprehension of grade 12 young students. The five member skills in communication are the most important skills in teaching a particular language. Each of them is indispensable in the learning process. Viewing as one of the most important skills in communication is a way of portraying information in the database, thus giving more emphasis to the importance of mental faculty that allows the perceiver to delineate or give details about the target that is inaccessible to normal sense due to time, distance, or shielding. The use of movies as teaching tool allows the teacher to introduce variety and reality into the classroom, but discussions based on movie content allow students to bring their own background knowledge and experience into the discussions. Some researchers have presented strong evidence that multimedia have useful effects on language learning because of their rich and authentic comprehensible input. One way of helping English as a foreign language learners or EFL to comprehend authentic video programs while maintaining a target language environment is by adding English text subtitles to videos. The dual coding theory as proposed by Alan Palio in 1971 assumes that there are two cognitive systems, one specialized for the representation and processing of nonverbal objects or events and the other specialized for dealing with language. Relevant to this, the researcher aimed to determine the effect of movie subtitle on the viewing comprehension of the grade 12 students. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. 1. What is the viewing comprehension in the pre-test and the post-test of the control and the experimental group? 2. Are there significant differences in the viewing comprehension in the pre-test between the control and the experimental group? 3. Are there significant differences in the viewing comprehension in the pre-test and the post-test between the control and the experimental group? 4. Are there significant differences in the viewing comprehension in the post-test between the control and the experimental group? 5. What is the effect size of movie subtitle to the viewing comprehension of the grade 12 U students? This quasi-experimental research study utilized the grade 12 U students at Vicente and Dye Senior National High School, divided into the control and the experimental group with 23 respondents in each group by matching their final grades in the 21st century literature, which ranged from 85 to 98. The conduct of pre-test and post-test using the researcher-made viewing comprehension test anchored on Thomas Barrett's taxonomy of viewing comprehension, which underwent phase validation and reliability analysis, was administered to both groups. The study used four English classic movie materials with subtitle applied to the experimental group and without subtitle applied to the control group. Data were analyzed using mean and standard deviation for the descriptive analysis and t-test for the inferential statistics set at 0.05 alpha level of significance. For the results, and for the question number one, the viewing comprehension of the grade 12 Hume students in the pre-test and the post-test of the control and the experimental group prior to the implementation of the, the intervention is high. In the post-test, the data show that control group has high and the experimental group has very high level of viewing comprehension. The high level of pre-test on the viewing comprehension of the respondents implies that in general, they are typically able to understand the second language as they can identify characters, infer from given statements, arrange events in sequence, evaluate material, and appreciate it. This conforms to the suggestion of Canning, Wilson, and Wallace, 2000, as cited by Rockne and Ite in 2014, that movies with captions motivate students to be aware of the new vocabulary and other idiomatic expressions flashed on screen, thus enable them to easily understand the context. For question number two, there is no significant differences in the viewing comprehension between the control and the experimental groups with t-test results at 0.084 set at 5% alpha level of significance. 
The result was explained by the fact that there is collective similarity among the students' ability to comprehend the English language in reference to viewing comprehension. For question number three, there are significant differences in the viewing comprehension between the pre-test and post-test of the control group, which is the result of t-test at 3.62 and the experimental group at 9.87 set at 5% alpha level of significance. The use of movies or video clips to support instructional materials in teaching English language to students have helped improve their viewing comprehension skills, especially with the use of subtitles as administered in the experimental group. These findings support the study of Sidorenko in 2010 in the effect of input modality on the learning of written and oral forms, overall vocabulary gains, attention to input, and vocabulary learning strategies of beginning second language learners. For question number four, there are significant differences in the viewing comprehension between the post-test of the control and the experimental groups after the intervention was implemented, with the result of t-test at negative 6.75 set at 0.05 alpha significant level. The data show that movie subtitle or captions used in film viewing is significantly effective on improving the viewing comprehension skills of the students. This result conforms to the study of Dr. Saburi and Zorabi in 2015, which revealed that learners who had watched English subtitle movies in classroom had performed in the vocabulary achievement test and their scores increased significantly. Hence, it can be concluded that the huge effect of movie subtitle on the viewing comprehension skills of the students asserted a huge impact of the intervention. Consequently, it can be inferred that students learn through dual coding theory proposed by Alan Pavio, which attempts to give equal weight to verbal and nonverbal processing. With the use of movie subtitle in the viewing activities, it could empower students' ability to comprehend the context through representational, direct activation of verbal or nonverbal representations, referential, the activation of verbal system or vice versa, and associative processing, the activation within the same verbal or nonverbal system. That's all. Thank you and have a great day.